Hello everyone, I'm Gareth from Athlon 7 for you again today and welcome to another Valve source code tutorial. This time around I'm going to demonstrate how you can fix a sniper scope in bug through a level transition. So you'll see what I mean with the gameplay I'm going to show. But essentially the whole point of this tutorial is that if you have a weapon like the Half-Life 2 Beta sniper rifle, then when you go through a level transition you can scope in the sniper rifle again, because as it works in mods like missing information or the half-life 2 beta when you go through a level transition with the sniper rifle if you've used the sniper rifle scope in a level and then you go through a transition to the next level then you won't be able to scope in the sniper rifle again this tutorial is going to go over how you can go about fixing that so the first thing we're going to do is well i'm going to assume at least that you have a weapon like this in the first place so I'm going to use the Half-Life 2 Beta Sniper Rifle as a base for this. So you can get this from, I guess, the Half-Life Project Beta forums. I know that's where I've got the Half-Life 2 Beta source code from. So just do some Google searches and you can find it. And so you just add the weapons underscore sniper rifle code. And in this case, you either go to your single player or multiplayer base. And then just go to SRC game server HL2 and then just paste the sniper rifle code in there. Then you go to your SRC and open up the games project. Then you go to server HL2, right click and just add the sni add an existing item and add the sniper rifle code into your project. Then as this is the Half-Life 2 beta code, uh, what you have to do is fix some things up before we can get this to work. So the first thing you're going to have to do is remove the class from the define fields in the data desk section. So it should just go define field and then it's the variable and the type of variable that you have. So there's only two there so you just have to change that up, not too difficult. And there's some other fixes that you have to do as well, such as when you change the FOV you have to say it's a P player first and then the FOV number, not just the FOV as it currently is. So that's something you need to add in. And also for the effects where it says a uh, muzzle flash, you can just comment that out and just say, uh, you know, P player or P owner and then an arrow and then do muzzle flash. So the arrow is just the hyphen and a greater than symbol, I believe it is. So that's going to be what you need to do there just to fix some of that up. Uh, and then when you're done with that, what you can do is go to your client project. So in my case, I'm doing this in the server HL2 project folder. So what you want to do is go to the client HL2 folder. And if you're doing the episodic version, then you just go to the episodic version of the client code here. Uh, and then just go to source files HL2 DLL and look for the C underscore weapon underscore underscore stubs underscore HL2 file. And this is where weapons that are on the server side only get a client side representation. Otherwise, if you just build the project now and try and go into your mod, you'll get an error saying that the sniper rifle doesn't have a client side code to it. So if you don't have a client side code, then this is what you do. You just say stub underscore weapon underscore class. And then you're typing the name as you would if you were typing it in the console. So in this case, it's just weapon underscore sniper rifle. Then it's the, the class name. So usually this will be just the, what you have in the server side, a DT underscore and then the class name. So it's just going to be that part. It's after the DT and the underscore. So it's just the class name without DT at the start. And then at the end, it's going to be the type of class that you have or the base class. So in this case, it's a C underscore base HL combat weapon. And by doing that, it implements a client side version of a server side only weapon. So if you build this, then it should work. And what you should find is that if you have a level that has a transition, then the scope ability won't work when you go for the transition. And the reason for this is that the functionality of the scoping in this case is contained within a function called item post frame. So you need to change this for the sniper scope to be able to work. So one of the first things you have to do is just comment out all of the code. Now in my case, I comment out everything after the 
finish reload part right at the start. So you can just comment everything out easily by just doing forward slash asterisk. And then you can just delete the asterisk forward slash that comes after it and then just go to the end of where you want to comment out and then just put the asterisk forward slash at the end. And that's a way you can just comment out a whole block of code very easily. Um, and at the very end after that asterisk forward slash add a base class colon colon item post frame at the end. So it basically calls upon the item post frame function at the end. Uh, and what we're going to do after this is we're going to add a new function. So it's going to go void C weapon sniper rifle colon colon secondary attack and in brackets void. Uh, it's going to create an error because we haven't defined secondary attack as a function. So what you want to do is go to the top of the code and underneath where it says, for instance, void primary attack void, just say void secondary attack void and add it at that point at the top of the code because that would be the header file in C++ terms. So you just want to add that in there so it knows that's a valid function that you can call upon. Uh, and in secondary attack, what we're going to do is, or I'm going to say first off, uh, m underscore fl next secondary attack equals gp globals, then an arrow, cur time plus. And in my case, I've put 0.5f, but it's some delay in the time that the next attack's going to happen. So that way you can't just spam, you know, the right mouse button and just go for the scope really quickly. You can, it's basically just adding a delay in the amount of, you know, scoping in that you can do in this case. Then after this, you want to go C base player, asterisk P owner equals two base player. And then in brackets, get owner. And you put brackets at the end of that as well. So that basically that's saying find the player. Uh, and then after that, you say if exclamation mark P owner, then you can just press enter and then type in return. So what it's going to say is that if we don't have an owner, then just exit out the function. And then right at the very end, you just say zoom with brackets. And don't forget to put semicolons at the end of everything. So that's the way C++ works. But um, if you save this and compile it, then what you should find is that um, the sniper rifle works as it's supposed to. And when you go through a level transition, the scope ability works still. So that's a good thing. That's what we want. So, yeah, that's going to be the tutorial. Yeah, so that's all you need to do. So comment it out, stuff in item post frame, and then just add it into a dedicated function like secondary attack, and it just works. So an obvious follow-up for this would be the binoculars from a Half-Life 2 beta. But from my experimentation, the primary attack function doesn't work in the binoculars, and I don't know why. It should, but it doesn't. So unfortunately, I can't actually figure out a way to get that to work. But... In my experimentation of this, I used a bunch of if else if statements and it looks pretty bad, but the functionality works. And in this tutorial, doing this video for you, I actually just left the case system as it is and it still works. So you don't need to do any fundamental changes to the code like I did. You can just leave it as it is, just get rid of the stuff from item post frame and put it into another function and it should work perfectly fine. So that's all you need to do for a sniper rifle scope ability to work through a level transition. I uh, hope you find this helpful and um, yeah, take care. Peace out. See you next time.